Because of its important role in various aspects of cognition, the allele and genotype frequency distributions of the COMT gene in different races and ethnic populations have been studied to get better insight on the very characteristics of the specific population. Val allele frequency is higher in East Asian population, 0.7, compared to Europeans, 0.4, while South American natives such as Surui, Tacuna and Cardiana, have higher val val allelic frequencies, ranging from 0.66, 0.81 and 0.99, respectively. In the same study, higher frequency of val allele was observed in African tribes. Corroborating the 1999 Palmetier et al. study, the recent HapMap project release number 28 unveiled very low met-met genotype frequencies in African tribes, Yoruba, Maasai and Luhia, and in East Asian ethnic populations, Japanese, Han Chinese and Korean but relatively higher met-met genotype frequencies among Gujarati Indians, 0.218, in Houston, and Europeans in Utah, USA, of 0.248. These findings strengthen my max serious theory that early Americans who fled religious persecution in Europe likely had higher average levels of dopamine and therefore higher occurrences of apophenia i.e., out of the ordinary religious and philosophical beliefs and perceptions. It's my theory that this unique gene pool of Europeans biologically and philosophically founded a very unique, one might say exceptional nation, the United States. In my opinion, this unique combination of nature, genes, and nurture, culture, created American exceptionalism and the world's oldest living democracy. For details see my video titled, Occult America, Apophenia, Bipolar Disorder How High Dopamine Created the World's Oldest Democracy. Most American adults self-identify as Christians. But many Christians also hold what are sometimes characterized as New Age beliefs, including belief in reincarnation, astrology, psychics, and the presence of spiritual energy in physical objects like mountains or trees. Many Americans who are religiously unaffiliated also have these beliefs. Overall, roughly 6 in 10 American adults accept at least one of these New Age beliefs, according to a 2018 Pew Research Center survey.